three, two, one, and one of our players levels up. And I changed one of the train sessions for someone else, and I'll explain that in a second. Mr. Clark, Mr. Clark, now 74 rated centre back from Australia, right? And I also replaced Morgan with Brown simply because Brown has potential to be special. He's not getting enough games, and I need to level him up. I need him to get to his true potential eventually. 96 is really right there, soon to be 93 ball control, 95 sprint speed as a 78 rated left winger who hasn't even started leveling up his striking ability, his passing ability. Oh my lord, this is a player that you should all be watching right now. This is gonna be good. This is your genuine ghost stellar age back with another video of LAFC FIFA 20 manager Harry mode. And oh we get a bit of a rest. Okay, that's fine. We get a little chilled session. Obviously we have the round of 16 of the US Open Cup, which is pretty important as it is the only other thing we can actually win as opposed to the MLS title. People going on international jury, let's have a look. Connor Clark, Australia. Peter Brown on the United States of America. Joseph Williams on the United States of America. In Hatton on the Netherlands, Yasia on Spain, Tommy Abraham on England, Rozek Rozek on the Czech Republic, Novak on the Czech Republic. You have to emphasize that when you talk about Czech, if you know what I mean. You don't have to, but still, you have to because it's class. And finally, Rodrigo on Brazil. That is the 15th of June to the 18th of July. Wait, 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 so, you know for this next game in the round of 16, I bloody swear, don't you dare. Wait, 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 so, you're tell- I'm so confused right now. I'm very confused. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you literally trying to put the odds against me? Oh, well, I'm gonna have to find out after this train session. Three, two, one, and another one of our players level up. This is good, this is good, this is good, this is seriously good. Right. Now, Brown, now with 93 ball control, 95 sprint speed. I'm gonna do you for one more training session and get that dribble into 88 and then I'll move on to your striking ability and get you over 80 overall at least. 81 at least, no, 90 at least. Williams leveled up to 74 rated, keeping it equal with Connor Clark, Mr. Connor Clark and Daniel Williams, now in the rivalry of a lifetime. 92 short passing, 89 finishing. Oh my lord, we have a great American striker on our side right now. Speaking of international duties, is that today? Oh my lord, it had to be today of all bloody days. Are you kidding me? Even oh my lord, I don't. Okay, I have my 89 raid. <laughs> right, so is it just Americans? Is that what it is? Amer oh no, Czech, American, Australian, Netherlands, Czech, Spanish, English, Brazilian, American. Not good. <laughs> oh no, this is not good. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. I ain't got my replacement centre back on my side. Damn it. Well, right side, we can put Williams on, he's got a great striking ability. Swap that. Right, Tremblay. Just get the substitute side out. Get a replacement goalkeeper, at least a good one. 63 right there. At least we have an 89 rated goalkeeper, so that's fine. Let's think, let's think, let's think. We have got to think. Right, we have to think right now. What should we do? Agua, you're going on for Manhattan, right? Put you there. Mason can go there. It's a good thing he showed up when he did. Uh, Garcia can get swapped with Tremblay. We'll put the Romanian on here. We need a left mid in Ben, seeing as though he's still here. And I uh, care. That's just my bench. That's just my substitute bench. I'm gonna have to put Morgan. This is mad. I need one more replacement. That's on the right wing, so I should realistically put on. Bands. <laughs> this is wow, oh, mate. This is the problem with leveling up 
So, and this is the problem with being in the MLS, I just realised. <laughs> That's another problem with this. Um... Oh, Benz can play right wing, so that's perfect. Kinda. <laughs> Ish. A sooner you can go down the substitute bench. Is this literally, is this honestly gonna be... Like, oh yeah, and I still need a replacement for... Roger McCall. Come on, I need a striker replacement. Perez, you're 63 red. <laughs> now, this is the problem, right? This is a slight problem when you have your main squad sorted out and your substitutes kind of sorted out but then you haven't really got any reserves left over but I do have reserves it's just I'm reluctant to level them up because I have some other players on the substitute bench who I want to level up at least to a decent win this is actually going to be the team let's look at the back side we have 85 raid Gill we have Williams who has brilliant class Striking ability. I don't know why it says minor five because he's in bad form, probably. Burns, who's all right, he's all right. I did tell him, yes, luckily he ain't gone yet because the transfer window isn't open. Morgan, brilliant dribbling ability, solid player. Ghana, top. Tepnech, wait, defensive awareness, blah blah blah. What's that compared to 94? Ah, Agua, you go there and Ghana go up there. Ga Ghana's got the better all-round stats. Yeah, he does, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has better shooting and all that other stuff, passing, pace and all that. Whereas Agua has absolute class defensive abilities. 97, slime tackle. Oh, my Lord. We have... Oh, no, 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 no. Would you like... Continue editing. No, 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 no. Not yet. We still have Nez, the best left-back, the best player in Bolivia. With unbelievable defensive stats. 96. Standing tackle. Oh my lord. We have Tremblay, who is a solid player all round. Six foot. Six. Actually, wait. I just thought of a better idea. I'm actually going to put Agua in centre back. Because that makes sense. He has better defensive abilities. And whereas Tremblay, he has better all round stats. Well, no, he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. I'm just saying. Right, well, in that case, I'm going to have to put. Wait. I need a better defender in CDM. There we go. Ghana, I guess. The is going up there instead. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> Agua's going there in defense. We have the literal next best center back in the world from Argentina. 99 defensive awareness. 99 sliding tackle. 98 standing tackle. 83 free kicking accuracy. The center back from Argentina for... I don't just want to be good at defense. I want to be good at attacking as well. So I got my free kicking accuracy to A3 way just to prove how good I am as an all-round natural player. We have the 81 rated legend from Netherlands called Hoever, 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 Hoever. New brand of crisps. Hoever, Hoever, Hoever. Brilliant defensive stats. Brilliant all-round in general. We're right back. Great pace. And, of course, we have Crunchley Goss. <laughs> One of our highest rated players at being Van der and the goalkeeper. Position. 89 rated. 98 reflexes. 96 diving. 90 kicking. 91 positioning. The only thing that's letting them down just a little bit is 76 handling. But still, 76 handling is better than most people around the globe of goalkeepers. All the rest of the substitutes are just substitutes, just for filler. I can't let history repeat itself. I just can't. No, seriously, no, I can't. Because Chicago, you, they lost the last three games. They are rubbish. Let, I didn't promote this team for nothing. Don't you dare lose. I put so much effort into promoting you. Yes! Bloody yes! 3-0 and a clean sheet as well. Well, yeah, we have an 89 rated goalkeeper in Van der Voort. The Belgian madness might... Agua did get it, like I had no problem whatsoever. Williams with a hat trick. A hat trick. Perez and Kerr getting subbed on just to help out for Burns and Gill. No problem whatsoever. Help was not really needed. What about Morgan? Any chance of getting involved in the first team action a bit more, boss? I really can't stand warming the bench for much longer. I literally just 
played you. I'm did I not play you? I think I did play you. I'll consider your request, but still, I'm pretty sure I just played you for that crucial game in the round of 16 US Open Cup, and you're saying you want more games. I did play you, you little liar. Oh my little you know, obviously you want more games, I understand that. I will give that to you when the time is right. At this point in time, the time is right, because all my best players are gone off in international duties. Because for some reason, I decided to work for the MLS. And I'm going to calm down and I'm just going to train. Three, two, one, and one of our players levels up. And oh my lord, I am happy about this L. Moi Lim. Now 65 rated, 85 ball control, 79 dribbling, 78 agility, 68 sprint free. We don't have to talk about that right now. 65 overall he's pretty good in terms of control of the ball in general and just for this current pandemic forget the pun because of the situation we're in right now because a lot of my players are now on international duties i've had to make a few replacements that being morgan i just decided just to level him up because now on his training stats it now officially says he is a promising player which means he will actually properly level up now so I actually feel confident to level up the guy from now on onwards. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Everything else is fine. Now we continue. Hopefully international duties are over very soon. And I have a feeling there won't be because it did just say July, didn't it? And I'm not happy about that. But the fact that we won our last game with what we had, <laughs> with, very, with what very little we had, it's pretty good, pretty good right there. Will your winning streak continue? Uh, we're in great form. Focused on... Yeah, focused on long-term success. Boom. The team morale is happy, currently. Will LAFC win again? Oh, so we beat him before. Um, once a winner, always a winner. Boom. <laughs> team morale up even higher. Nice. Let's get that very happy. Do you reckon that San Jose Earthquake is concerned? Concentrate less on the opponent. The way I, how I said concentrate, I said concentrate. Jeez, my lads performed admirably. Admirably. Team morale, very happy. Right there. Peace out. Press conference done. I just dropped the controller. Almost on the bus. Let's not talk about this. Anyways, international duties is it over? No, it is not. I am so annoyed right now. Well, either way, this was a winning side right here. This right here is a winning side. Once a winning side, always a winning side. Especially if you have the best center back in the world. That is Mindzilla Godzilla Mindzilla from Argentina. 18 years old, 80 rated. The team captain for now until Jose comes back. We are ready. Obviously, we have San Jose Earthquakes. It is the MLS, so technically it doesn't really matter, seeing as though we are at the top of the league. However, I would like to keep my winning streak up at the highest it can possibly be at right now. And I want to be undefeated, so you better win. Basically, my substitute team, you better win. And we win another free. Nil. Right there, I'm happy with that. Ney scoring, Garner scoring, William scoring, Perez and Kerr coming out of substitutions. Tremblay, Burns did get yellow cards, whatever, it doesn't really matter. One little bit, go. I am happy right now, I am happy. I'm happy. And Gil's happy. Gil's great. <laughs> Boss, thanks for listening and giving me an extended run in the team. I'm much happier now. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Morale, happy. Well deserved. Very well deserved right there, an 85 rated left winger like Gil deserves everything he deserves in the world. And now, after all that promoting of my secondary team, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to use him again in the next <laughs> in the next game and in the next episode. Because now, I'm ending it there. And that'll be it for this episode of LAFC. Sometimes you got to have them promotion episodes of your team just to show everyone around the world how legitimate and how good they are. Ah, truly how great they are. How they can obliterate any team they face in the MLS, Premier League, anywhere. Spain, Italy, anywhere. Straight up. Now nah, I'm done.
That is now it for this episode of LAFC. This has been your genuine ghost, LRH. Now done for the day. Lads, I'll see you guys in a bit.